back from my holiday. How are you doing? I feel really good, very refreshed. Weirdly, I'm still on like Greek time zone, which actually isn't that different from the UK, but it is a couple of hours ahead. So I woke up this morning, woke up at 5 a.m., lied there for a bit, got up, washed my hair. I never normally wash my hair on like a weekday because I just find it makes my working day so much later. I don't like that. It gives me throwbacks to working in an office and I was always late if I washed my hair in the morning, so I never ever do it. It's just kind of like ingrained in me, so yeah. It's quite a novelty. It's 8.30, my hair is freshly washed, it's air drying, it's nearly there, so it's a real novelty for me. I'm actually just making Ryan a smoothie. I've got my coffee. I've cleaned the kitchen, made my bed, I am dressed, I've been to the shop, I got milk. Today is wild. He's having a strawberry and blueberry smoothie this morning. That's what I've decided. But yeah, like I said, feeling good, very refreshed. It was really nice to just have a little break, just have a few days where I literally did nothing other than like lie in the sunshine reading a book. I wore like no makeup apart from like in the evenings, but during the day I was makeup free and I feel like it's done me some good. Like I've come back and I have actually like not been wearing a ton. I've done my brows, I've got mascara on, but a tiny bit of corrector because I'm like gray in the inner corners of my eye. And then I just did a little bit of like lip product, got my SPF on, obviously. And that is it. I've been using my Sandra Pay Drops, which I love. But yeah, I've been using that in the morning in addition to like a hydrating product. And it's just an elite tier combo. And yeah, I have basically been like makeup free during the day for over a week now. It's been amazing. Loved it. I am feeling a little bit ropey at the moment though. I've come back with like the sniffles which is super annoying but basically it was a great excuse to spend the weekend watching stranger things and just eating yummy healthy food trying to eat as healthy as possible at the moment because the food options on holiday were not great at the particular place we were staying like dietary requirements were very difficult so it wasn't ideal so i came back feeling like a little bit under the weather probably because of all the aircon not because of the food but yeah just been trying to get as much like goodness into my body as possible mm. If you haven't seen my last vlog, I did a little mini homeware haul off Amazon and I got these cups and they are so cute. Wait, I don't think you saw these cups. These did these arrived whilst I was away, I think. I think these were the ones that arrived whilst I was away. But if you want to see more stuff like this, I love these mugs, they're so cute. Then go and watch my last vlog. Fingers crossed he likes it. Honestly, who knows? My culinary skills are not it. Update. He likes the smoothie. I'm overjoyed. Also shot myself in the foot because now I'm probably going to be making them for him all the time. But yeah, this morning we are just doing a little bit of work before we go out. I've kind of realised, I woke up this morning and realised the date and I was like, our garage renovation is just creeping closer and closer and we still haven't picked doors and I just have this awful feeling that the doors are, we're going to order them and they're not going to arrive in time if we leave it any longer. That might still be the case. Honestly, getting anything into this country right now sounds like an absolute nightmare. So yeah, not holding out the most hope, but hopefully if we actually pick one this week, maybe then we'll actually have a chance at getting it all done roughly around the same time, who knows. But I also would really like to look at new doors because the doors that I'm standing right in front of now are just a little bit old. So they're gonna need replacing at some point. It was one of the things that was flagged to me when I bought the house was that they're just a little bit old and would need replacing at some point. So it's good to go and look at that. I also would love a new front door and Ryan needs a new front door as well. So basically we just gotta go and look at doors. So that is what we were up to this morning. Some of you might be really buzzing for this like I am. Some of you might be like, this is the complete opposite of thrilling guys. But I thought I'd bring you along anyway. So yeah, that's what we we're doing today. I just need to sort my hair and do some little work bits before we go and i'm just gonna leave my face like this because i'm really trying to do like more minimal makeup days and this is like very very minimal makeup especially for me so yeah i'm just gonna leave my skin the way it is personal growth <laughs> 
but yeah, that is about it for my little life update this morning. Oh yeah, the only other thing, we went and played tennis yesterday. It was so fun. Hopefully we're gonna do it again this week, so I'll bring you along with us if we do. But my anniversary present to Ryan was tennis rackets because we always just say like, when we see people playing tennis or whatever, we're always like, oh, we should do that. That would be so nice, blah, blah, blah. So my anniversary gift to him was rackets. So we actually went and played yesterday. It was so fun. I'm so bad so bad next level bad my coordination actually is not the best so yeah i don't know how ryan actually enjoys it with me being that bad but we had so much fun so we're going to do that again this week as well which i'm really looking forward to i have a new hobby that isn't just walking along the beach or walking on a treadmill how great is that love it okay i've just put some of this kerastase heat protection on it i'm just going to use my air wrap with the bristly brush you guys have seen me do this like i swear a hundred times now so i'm just gonna like speed this up rush out this is my little outfit of the day i've got a zara body on these are new ones i think that they've started doing with spaghetti straps i really like them then my straight leg jeans my nike low dunks balenciaga bag side note i think i have a far fetch codes coming soon so hold on these if you can monica vinader necklace and yeah that, that's it that's what i'm wearing good thing that did come out of our appointment was I've decided on a new door for this room. Imagine it. Ryan's not hopping. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Good morning everybody. So yesterday didn't really work out did it? My cold, I have like a real like face cold at the moment. It got so bad yesterday. I had a full like headache, face ache. It, my face hurt so much. My teeth were hurting. It was a lot and I could, I was so bunged up. I couldn't, I actually couldn't talk properly. It was an absolute joke. A little bit better today in terms of like, I don't feel so horrendous in terms of like my head, but I am still a little bit sniffly and just not feeling great all round. I did a little bit of makeup. I woke up very early again this morning. So I've been up for a long time. Basically had a whole day <laughs> before I even started the vlog. But yeah, I feel like at the moment, I, I get this a lot when I'm ill, I just, I think all the colour looks like it's drained from my face, my lips look very pale so I'm going to do a little bit of like actual makeup today. I wanted to try and like not do the makeup but honestly it's just a lot. I facetimed Ryan last night and I literally looked like I had no lips, like there is no natural colour to them at the moment. I don't, does that happen to anyone else? Is it just me? But anyway so where are we at? We went to the doors shop yesterday and Honestly, it was probably the least helpful thing we could have done. We're now even further from where we thought we were in the process. So we need to go and look at some more doors before we make some decisions. So yeah, really not helped speed up the process at all, basically. We did, however, find the back doors that I would like, which is so not the point. Like it was one of the things we were going to look at, but really not the aim of what we were going to look for. For, like we wanted to look for stuff for the garage conversion and that was honestly like the lowest priority am i i'm wearing white jeans at the moment am i insane doing 
foundation in white jeans maybe we also found out that there's some new like legislation coming into play which is gonna really mess with the garage conversion so ooh, lots and lots of fun and then there's other just really stressful house things that are going on at the moment which i can't talk about right now but i will tell you about at some point because it's such a uh, like if i don't laugh i'll cry kind of situation and i can't wait till the point though when i can actually tell you but yeah so not the best day yesterday but back at it again and i think today's gonna be a much better day i've got a lot of posts to open today from whilst i was away which i'm really looking forward to i love this tinted moisturizer it is so great i feel like it's just actually brought some color back to my face it's the rare beauty tinted moisturizer i have it in the shade 34w 34w and then I also have it in 28C. I would say I'm more 34W at the moment. It's really lovely. And then I also used it whilst I was on holiday with this primer. Oh my God. This primer is insane. Why am I holding it? That's the weirdest way to hold something. This primer is incredible. It is the Pore Diffusing Primer by Rare Beauty. It is honestly like flawless skin in a bottle. And I kind of wished I remembered to put it on today, but didn't really need it just literally wanted to whack a bit of tinted moisturizer on though yeah whipping yesterday's unsuccessful day behind us moving on with the day today i have been up early looking at hotels for our various stays in ibiza this summer and i think we've kind of like narrowed down what we're doing and when so i'm really happy about that next step is dinner reservations if anyone has any recommendations for places to go for dinner in ibiza i would love some recommendations because it basically sounds like everywhere is getting booked up really quick and that's a bit annoying yeah would love 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 if anyone has any good restaurant recommendations that specifically are good for like a vegan diet because poor ryan really struggled in Greece I just gave up <laughs> but he really really struggled I really feel like I got out the wrong side of the bed basically today so apologies if I'm just a little bit moany but you know when you just feel off that is me today but yeah my little moany moans out the way I am actually really looking forward to this week I think it's going to be a really nice week I have got a friend's barbecue which I'm really excited to go to it's basically a three-day work week in the UK and whilst I am obviously self-employed so every day is a fun day it's really nice when other people are sometimes not working as well friday also looks like it's going to be really good weather so i'm going to try and book tennis courts oh my god this tom ford lipstick is so nice it's the shade blush nude really really pretty like a cool toned pink nude color i really like it so yeah on my face today we have the rare beauty tinted moisturizer 34w brow pencil the benefit Nope, Bare Minerals Brow Master, the shade Coffee, make sure my eyebrows don't have foundation all over them. Glossier Lash Lick Mascara, I've got a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer on my eyelids just to give a little bit of definition. Rare Beauty Contour Stick, Max Stone Lip Liner and Vive Peach Lip Liner and then the Tom Ford Blush Nude Lipstick and that is it. And then obviously the Saint Tropez Tan Tonic Drops just all over my face the second i wake up this morning so if my face gets a little bit more brown throughout the day that is why but that is where we are at today i'm gonna stop and leave the makeup bags now and leave my hairbrush and everything so i feel like i could just it's one of those days where i feel a bit uncomfortable a bit not myself and i think i could just like laugh for hours so let's get out of here so this is what i'm wearing today we've got a nude zara body on zara jeans these are the same as my blue ones which i wear all the time but just in white i've cut these down freshly this morning love them regular apple watch strap from amazon and then literally no jewelry i should rectify the situation okay so we are gonna go for this cute little pendant from monica vinida so yeah just a sweet little dainty necklace little bangle that i got for my birthday and then i'm just gonna go for these really simple Monica Benita hoops. I think I might as well have a discount code if you want any of these bits. Okay, let's open some posts. I actually have no idea what half of this is, so this is going to be fun. So, ooh, have some bits from Sarah Chapman, which is a brand that I really love for a lot of their hydrating products. They basically make me not look like a dehydrated mess. Oh, so they have eye masks. I've actually never tried these eye masks, but I love their 3D face mask. It's so good. Like I will sleep with it on my face on a long haul flight. I look crazy, but my skin is so hydrated and so like great when I get off the flight versus normally if I fly, my skin is actually horrific. Ooh, what else is there? The Skin Assist Liquid Facial De-Stress. <laughs> that sounds ideal. Yeah, I will take 
a lot of this. So I think it's like a calming mist. Sounds great. Can't wait to try that. And then there's also the Intense Hydrating Booster, which I've been using so much lately. So I'm really happy to have another one of those. Oh, what a great little gift. Thank you very much, Sarah Chapman. Oh, we have some new Bare Minerals bits. We have the Phyto AHA Radiance Facial. Sounds great. So I think this is like a mask. I actually haven't used a lot of Bare Minerals skincare, so that'll be really interesting to try. We have the Endless Summer Bronzer. Looks like a very good contour shade for me. Pressed setting powder. I'm very happy to try because you guys know I love a powder. It just looks like that. Ooh, feels nice. And then we have the Strength and Length Serum Infused Brow Gel, which is actually very handy because mine is running up. This is in the clear, which is great. So I've actually been, once I used up my last one, I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I want another really dark brow gel. So yeah, I think clear is the way to go for me. It just means that they're all like kept in place. But it's not making my brows too bold, especially with wearing like less makeup and trying to wear less makeup. I think clear is the way for me to go. We then have the Gen Nude Blush in the shade. What shade are you? Oh, Pretty in Pink. Oh, that's really nice. And then we have the Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara. This is a very good mascara. Very like kind to your lashes. Some of them are really hard to get off. This one isn't as hard to get off. I think it's got like, I can't remember if it's oils or something in the mascara, but it's meant to help like your lashes grow. I love the brush on this such a good brush thank you very much to bare minerals for those bits oh and there is a complexion rescue an old favorite of mine okay moving on i can see who sent this and i'm so excited oh my gosh so we have some bits from adenola which if you have watched just one of my videos i'm sure you'll know they're a brand that i love they have their move more collection and they have the turquoise short and sweatshirt set which i love and they also do it in a lime green and i love it so i've got these shorts then there's the jumper which i get all of this set in a size extra small because it is quite oversized the extra small just fits so perfect so yeah we got the sweatshirt and then i also have the sports bra i also love that all of this packaging it goes in my composter how great is that yeah we have the little green top as well oh. I'm going to change into this this evening once I'm like done with my day clothes. Thank you very much to Adenola. I'm one happy girl. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh my god, I saw those people get this on Instagram. This is from Elizabeth Arden to celebrate the Queen's Jubilee. Ooh. So we have the Advanced Ceramide Capsules. I've actually been using the Hyaluronic Capsules so much lately, but I've never used these ones. Sounds great. For visibly firmer, smoother, healthier looking skin after I use. Yeah, I'll take that. Look at that packaging. That is so fun. And then, oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I'm so sad. I can't eat these, but well, I could. I deviated off my diet in Greece. Why not now? <laughs> Biscuits. Yum. Oh, and then we have the eight hour cream. This stuff is great. I actually use this on my cuticles before I go to bed. And then there's an SPF. I love that. So this is an SPF 50. Love that. This is the Privage range. Really like that. I'm actually going to put that in my bathroom cupboard. And then, oh my God, we have this huge box from Vive. Jamie, what are you doing on? Oh my God. It's so heavy. Love it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I always get sent the cutest rosé bottles for work and then I end up drinking them and then I don't have a cute bottle anymore. But how cool is that? And we also have the Capri book. I can't remember who these are by. It just says this, but I'm not sure if that's who it's by. But basically these books are like a real thing and they have like, I think I have an Ibiza one somewhere and you can get them for like loads of different places around the world and they have loads of really, really cool photography in them and I just absolutely love them. Oh my God, that's so cool. Thank you very much. Oh my God, what a vibe. And then we have a face palette. Ooh, this is going to be good. It's got highlighter, blush, blush intense and a bronzer. Ooh. Oh my God. That's such cool packaging. Okay. Oh, cute. Ooh, a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to be. That's really pretty. So this is in the shade Dawn. 
So we've got highlighter, blushes, contour shade, I'm gonna say. And then we have the lip juice. Ooh, different shades. That is so fun. I love the lip juice, they're so nice. They are the best like scent slash like flavor ever. This is in the shade Rosa, very cute. And then we have Pesca. Ooh, like an orangey nude. So these are the shades. How cute are they? Thank you very much, I'm looking forward to trying those. I think this one, Rosa, is gonna be maybe the shade for me. Okay. That is my post. I'm gonna continue to drink my disgusting cup of tea. It's like a ginger tea, but with like lemon and citrus and something else. I think it's meant to like fix me, but I don't feel fixed. Okay, green set. So cute. I love it. Do I feel like the Grinch? Yes. Am I mad about it? No. I also think the lime green is really helping me to feel like extra tanned, which is someone who feels like the color has literally drained from her face today. I'm so so happy about so yeah very happy with this gonna try the jumper on and show it to you now like i said earlier i think i got these in an extra small and the top is in a small i'm very happy with the sizing i don't really like to fight to go into my sports bras too much and this one has like a fair bit of not like room but it's not like super super tight but still like enough that i can kind of bounce and not feel like i'm lying about all over the place which is good and then we have the jumper i know this burst of color might seem out of character for me and i completely get that but i just love the fit of these sets so much they are like elite tier love them i will literally wear these in any color green included and i'm really not a green kind of girl i literally match my grass <laughs> wow oh my god i just love it i feel so tanned this is a very flattering green and that's not something I ever thought I would say. Hello baby angel. How you doing? Should we get you a matching green collar? What do you think? Good morning everybody. Wow, I'm looking a little bit puffy this morning. Just washed my face and I thought I would talk you through my kind of like morning skincare that I've been doing recently. So I start off with the Emma Hardy cleansing balm, which I am making my way through. So satisfying using products like that you've had sitting in your drawer for a while. And then I'm going to go in with the Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic Capsules. They actually do this in like a big giant size now, which is amazing, but these are really lovely, especially under makeup. I don't know if I'm even gonna wear makeup today, but they are really lovely under makeup because they kind of like prime the skin really well. I'm not, I don't know if I even apply these right, but this is how I like to do it. They feel so nice. And if I need like a lot of hydration, I use the Sarah Chapman Hyaluronic Booster before as well. And I'm just gonna massage that in a fair bit because I really feel like I need it today. I had every intention of vlogging yesterday evening. I really wanted to show you what I was making for my dinner. And sometimes it's just really random every so often. I get these waves that hit me. Sometimes it'll be a smell, which it was yesterday. And sometimes it's like something someone says, sometimes like I hear it in my head, but I hear like the voice. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Sometimes I hear her in my head, but I get really sad about my nan she has dementia and she basically was my favorite human being and she doesn't know who i am anymore and sometimes like it just really really hits me and it really hit me yesterday whilst i was like starting to make my dinner and yeah once that happens i am like a goner like there is no there is no bringing me back for a good couple of hours so i just had to like get into bed and uh scroll tiktok which is my favorite hobby at the moment, but yeah. So apologies that there was no dinner content, literally no afternoon content yesterday. I fully just planned on checking back in with you in the evening and it just didn't happen. But anyway, I'm now gonna use the Sandra Pay Luxe Tan Tonic Drops. These are amazing. I am loving this at the moment. I use like a full pipette on my hand and this has so many like hydrating skin benefits that I actually feel like it's doing my skin some good like it just looks really really good at the moment and then I leave that on my skin for a little while and I don't put my SPF on until I like need to just to give it some time to like set in I just find it works a little bit better if I give the tan a bit of time to kind of like dry you know? And then always, always wash my hands because otherwise it's a disaster. Yeah, that is my current little morning skincare routine. And then I just follow it up with my Heliocare SPF, which I love. Very simple, very hydrating, 
I'm very much just based around the turning, so normally I'd be using like my Ren Glow Tonic in the morning, I follow it up with like something hydrating or whatever, but literally no, nothing nothing particularly aggressive. My skin's like looking surprisingly okay considering there's a lack of exfoliation going on at the moment, so I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna eye cream. This is my fave eye cream. It's from Ren. It's called Keep Young and Beautiful, which is just the weirdest name. It's like firming and lifting. And I love that, so. This feels really nice this morning. My eyes feel so puffy. I need to get like, my face roller out the fridge. But yeah, that is it for my morning skincare until SPF. But I'm gonna go and make my coffee now, get ready for my morning walk, brush my hair. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Are you waiting for your breakfast? Are you waiting for your breakfast? Oh, little scruffy. You need a brush too. So this is my outfit for my walk. I actually just switched my jumper out because I got a bit scared that if the wind picked up a bit too much, I would be a bit too cold with my tummy on show. So I've got my Adenola Move More green jumper on. I've then got my Adenola black crop top on underneath, my Adenola black leggings. This lighting is really wavy. Adenola socks and Nikes. And then my Fendi little camera bag which i can't believe how long i've had this for now i still absolutely love it i use it literally every time i go on a walk and then my prada sunnies and i just need to clear up because someone dm'd me the other day <laughs> basically asking me if i actually have something to do with like adenola financially <laughs> and apart from the fact that they pay me for a spawn they've paid me for a spawn once I think. I just really love their clothes. I'm not actually like fully in business with them. I wear their stuff a lot. To be honest, if I retired from YouTube and never had to like think about outfits again, I'd probably just wear their active wear day in, day out. This is the perfect morning walk. It is so still this morning. I don't know if you can see, but that water is literally sparkling this morning. That is so beautiful. The jumper is off because I was sweating. And I just met the nicest lady who had a Doberman called Dolly. So cute. I literally love this walk. It is the cutest thing. Really glad Ryan wasn't here though because honestly that Doberman was gorgeous and his petition to get one would have been strengthened. So very glad he's not here because I want to stick to Chihuahuas for life. I'm like look at you. Chihuahuas for lifey. Oh, she is the best. Best, best, best dog. I'm about to make a little snack, but I thought I'd check in with you guys because I'm feeling a little bit funky and I was like, if I actually don't vlog and talk about this, I'm basically just not gonna really talk to you for the rest of the vlog. And I'm really trying not to do that. I'm trying to maintain this level of like openness with you guys without like running away when I am feeling really anxious and if something's upset me or like last night, Obviously didn't talk to you last night, but spoke to you about it this morning. I've got a lot of feelings, you know, and I'm quite an internal processor. So when I have things that are bothering me, I normally like to retreat back into my shell and like process. And then I come back when I'm feeling better and I find it very hard to externally process. It's why I don't really talk about a lot of things that go on as they're happening because normally I'm better in what is the word in retrospect like whenever I'm like looking back talking about something I'm better at it because I've processed it been there I can talk about it in a very eloquent way but yeah just feeling really funky today this week has been a bit of a weird one I had like a comment on my one of my videos that I woke up to the other morning 
really grinds my gears. I shouldn't say that because basically like telling people what I don't like, but it really grinds my gears. And sometimes I, the reason I'm saying this is because I want to give an insight into the reality of like being online. Cause people kind of say, well, you put yourself out there. You deserve it basically. And I don't really think that's the case because like my cousin has TikTok and Instagram. And if someone were being mean to her, she's not an influencer. Is that justified? No, of course it's not. The thing I've realized is people really like to gaslight on the internet, so they'll comment something and it's quite sly and sneaky and then they'll act like nothing was wrong. Or they'll try and use any justification for being mean to you to cover up the fact that they are obviously being mean to you. Just call a spade a spade, you know? But yeah, I woke up to this comment the other morning, deleted it. This one, like, it had like full on like laughing emojis, so it was clearly mocking me and I was like, that's gonna go. The same comment, basically, I think almost word for word, if not word for word, turned up again this afternoon. This afternoon? This morning? Whenever. Person's clearly got a lot of free time in the morning. I think I know what their job is and they're clearly not very good at it or very busy at it. Just saying. Side note, if you're gonna troll people, you need to be more careful about what accounts you do it from because lots of people sent me who this person is and I didn't even have to, I didn't do, I don't do any digging. I don't care who you are, but I thought that was interesting. They're clearly not very busy. So yeah, basically the same comment shows up again today, but they've tweaked the emoji slightly and I sent it to Lauren and Lauren was like, mm, this person could just be inquiring. And I was like, mm, yeah commented back being like, this is perfectly fine, what are you talking about? And then another mocking comment came and I was like, sent it to Lauren, she was like, block. And I was like, hmm. But I actually wanted to talk about it and I'm talking about it here as well as on my Instagram stories. If you've watched my Instagram stories, you will have seen the story post. And I'm glad I got screenshots because people really like to try and gaslight later on. The girl deleted her second comment where she was obviously mocking me and then tried to make out to other people. Like she was just inquiring. We're not stupid guys we are not stupid collectively not stupid and this is this is one of the things that i find happens a lot in being an influencer online and receiving backlash at the moment it's not the trolls that are just like what i imagine to be like teenagers in their bedroom being like you're ugly like i can i can take that i can take that that's like all right okay what happens a lot in being an influencer online is it's quite sly and then someone will take something away and be like I never said that, I was just I was just asking. I haven't been doing anything wrong. It's very manipulative. There's a lot of gaslighting that goes on. It's actually crazy because as well with some people, if you call them out or give them any kind of taste of their own medicine, you're suddenly bullying them. And they didn't ask for this and they're not online. It's like you've literally commented publicly on an account that has a lot of followers. So you have publicly commented online and in your own words, you're asking for it. But there's a lot of gaslighting that goes on and it's very, very manipulative. I'm not gonna lie, I try and act very brave a lot of the time and I am actually not, <laughs> not brave. And I have realized through therapy actually recently that I went through a lot of sly bullying at school. So I've always said I was never like physically bullied. When I first went to therapy, she was like, did you experience any bullying at school? And I was like, no, not really. And then we had to come and revisit that because there were certain things that triggered me that happened last year. And she was like, no, <laughs> what are you on about? Like, this is bullying. And we had to do a lot of work on that. And it was great. But now it means that I see this in a very different light. And I am actually becoming far less tolerant to this. And it's not that I am going to change anything in particular but i i'm gonna be more comfortable with like telling you guys from now on i've just had someone say something not great to me and i'm now not feeling great because actually i know people people have like a couple of people have messaged me literally just a couple because everyone else is like screw them a couple of people messaged me like don't give them the airtime i'm like i am expected to like take this abuse I'm gonna call it abuse because actually when you're laughing at someone and mocking them, it like you're not being nice. Let's just call a space bait. You're not being nice. And I'm expected to receive that, take it on the chin and still pretend to be happy. Like, what is that? What is that? But my point being, if you were actually talking to someone in your life, I don't really feel like the advice would be to just not talk about it because actually that's really bad for your mental health. Like the fact that I am expected to take comments this one in particular i'm just going to give you context in case you actually don't know this situation that i'm talking about was actually mocking me because i didn't get proposed to on my holiday with my boyfriend which <laughs> i can't i can't even like it was actually mocking me for wearing a dress to the beach and not getting proposed to it's very strange i can't even like it sounds insane when you say it it's weird because it's not something that i I would not expect that. 
I actually, I know people are gonna be like, oh, hang on. I know people will be like, oh, bullshit. But I actually, I don't, marriage is like not in my rank of priorities, like spending thousands of pounds on a day at this point in my life when I've got a garage conversion to be paying for, Ryan and I are doing the loft conversion. I would like to have a family at some point if that is like on the cards for us, who knows? That's like the least of my priorities. So going into a holiday that we've both organized together as well, and it wasn't like the best beach in the world, really not expecting that. So when someone's actually mocking you for something like that, it's so strange. Yeah, it's a very strange feeling. And then to receive that kind of like directly to you, to your phone, and then to just be expected to pretend that it hasn't happened. I am just finding that behavior now very, very unhealthy for me. I don't like it. I'm not here for it. Am I going to give all nasty comments airtime? Absolutely not. But yeah, I'm not going to shy away from kind of telling you guys what kind of day I'm actually having because I just feel like YouTube has become a place for me where, especially during the pandemic, I really didn't want to talk about how I was feeling because I was in such a privileged place. I am in such a privileged place that I really didn't feel like I could talk about how I was feeling. And I know lots of you really appreciated when I did but the backlash was hard when I did and that doing that for a couple of years it wasn't a couple of years but like almost a couple of years definitely over a year wasn't great for me and I don't feel like it's been great for my channel I don't share a lot I share less and less and less with every day and then I just find that everything is a lot more product focused which obviously I love but I don't feel like I'm really giving and I'm not able to give because there's so much that I am holding on to and I am just, I'm an insecure person. I'm not like super, super confident and things don't just bounce off of me and I am like trying to almost like live life like that is the case and it's really not the case and I'm really struggling to continuously show up and be that person because that is not me. She ain't me. So yeah, that is just, just a heads up. I'm going to be telling you if I'm not like tip top from now on because I, it's just, it's just weird. I just feel like I'm giving you a version of myself that is not me. Anyway, that is what happened this morning. It's so annoying. I've been on a really nice walk and this person comes in and like takes a dump on my day. Don't love it. Not here for it. We're going for yogurt. I am going to eat it out the tub because I don't really have a lot left and I can't be bothered to use a bowl. So I am a savage. I know. Let me live. Yeah. I am going to make this, get a little bit of work done and then Ryan and I are going to play tennis this evening, which I'm really looking forward to. This is the best. It's like dessert snack. Sometimes I actually do have this for pudding after dinner. I'm trying to not devour a tub of ice cream. Had a lovely evening last night. We went and played tennis, as you all have seen. I did get better, I promise. I'm really bad to start off with. And then I make a slight improvement. But it's always really fun and I loved it. And Ryan took me Fernando's after to make up for the fact that he did not propose on holiday, which was lovely. But yeah, we had a lovely evening. Went home, watched Stranger Things. It was really nice. Today, my friend is having a barbecue. It's like Jubilee weekend, so lots of people are like doing stuff like this. I'm just trying to move into the, the lights a bit sketchy today. But yeah, lots of people are having things for like the jubilee but it's actually our friends like year until their wedding party so we're going for a little barbecue which will be really nice and i actually am ready early i haven't had an outfit crisis which is great because normally at this point i've had like a bajillion outfit changes and i'm still not happy with my outfit i get very nervous before we go to social things and the ability to dress myself seems to leave my brain but it hasn't happened today so i'm very happy with that so i have this little dress on it's like ruched itself up a little bit but it's from pretty lavish really lovely actually the quality is great i love the color so much like a nice kind of like ribbed situation it's just lovely lovely to wear i paired it with my converse i did have a few shoe options but i went with my converse because i may walk home and i just really couldn't be bothered to throw an extra pair of shoes in my bag it's got enough stuff in it already i've got some old zara earrings in just for like a little bit of a statement but nothing too too crazy and then i've kept the rest of my jewelry like 
non-existent to compensate for the bougie earrings. I've got my Prada sunnies on because I'm not driving. I'll link to this dress by the way if it's still available because I bought it quite recently and I'm really really happy with it it's lovely yeah and then just my giant balenciaga tote which is just my staple bag at the moment i love the shape i've got a lot of totes but i really like the slightly asymmetric shape like it's wider at the top than the bottom i like the sporty vibe to it it's just such a nice tote bag and i feel like it goes with every outfit like it's very casual and it works well with my style and i love that and if you want to pick this up by the way hold fire for literally like maybe less than a week maybe just over a week around a week is my point so i have another farfetch discount code coming up i'm really really excited about this one but yeah that is my outfit for today's little barbecue guys this is how you know that you and your partner are morphing into one another look at this <laughs> look at our outfits ryan's just turned up <laughs> you can't even really see properly both got white trainers as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were we like? Everybody. Do you know what I've learned? I say I've learned something. I feel like I learned this and then I unlearn it very quickly. Drinking Prosecco, never a good idea. Even a glass. Whole body aches, headache, joints ache, teeth hurt. Like what is that? Every time I drink Prosecco, it's not the drink for me. I have a limited social time span when I'm drinking it. Nothing good comes out of drinking that drink. And I'm really feeling that today because I have like all the joint pain and all the body pain. Don't know why. I literally don't even drink that much of it, but it hates me. So today I've just gone for a very, very comfortable outfit. It's very warm. I think we're going to have a nice afternoon out before we go and play some tennis later. But I just want to be super comfortable. So I've thrown on this little cobbled. This is from River Island. Some of you may remember it from a previous little haul that I did. I picked this up as one of the items that I wanted to wear on my holiday. I actually didn't end up, I think I took it but I didn't end up wearing it. Did I even take it? I can't even remember now. It's from River Island. I really love it. It's so cute but it was one of the things that when I picked it up I was like even if I don't take this on holiday which I'm sure I will because I am going away so much this year but even if I don't wear it I will 100% wear it in the UK when it's hot because it's just the cutest, easiest little cord. It doesn't matter that I'm bloated. It just looks cute. There's literally, like, it covers my arms, so I don't feel, I just don't feel weird. I was wearing a black bodycon dress from ASOS that I threw on this morning, and I was like, today is just not the day for this. I just do not feel right wearing this. So that's what I've thrown on. I love it. I've got a Zara body on underneath. This would look nice, I think, with a nude body underneath as well, especially with these shoes. These are my sandals from H&M. I was actually going to wear these yesterday, but just in case I had to walk home, I decided to wear my Converse. But yeah, I love these sandals. They're really comfy actually, and they just look so cute. And the neutral tone of them is just perfect. So I love that. Then we've got some very freshly washed hair today. So we're just working with that. Then again, I'm gonna take this bag today because i'm gonna throw my tennis stuff in it just in case we run late on our dog walk or anything like that i just want to be prepared but yeah that is my outfit of the day i really can't be bothered with jewelry today so this is this is it Everybody, just about to go for a lovely afternoon tea and I thought I would show you my outfits. We have Prada Sunnies, my earrings are from Fendi, my necklace is from Monica Vinader and then I have an all Zara outfit which I just love at the moment. This is like a go-to for like cute but casual. The blazer kind of like smartens it up but then we just got a little top underneath that matches the blazer really nicely and then these blue jeans from Zara which I'm obsessed with at the moment. My Converse and then my Chanel 19 which I have just shortened the strap of. It sits like this, it's a very like cute 90s vibes and I really like it. If anyone is wondering how I shorten the straps, I literally just take the chain, so this chain, and I just loop it under the bag flap like this and then it just makes it nice and short. So we've got that very short top handle and then a slightly longer handle that just fits really nicely under my arm. Hello, did you want to say hello? I need Lloyd to ring around the camera. Shrimpy saying hi guys. Everybody, I am just about to get some makeup on the face because I am filming some TikToks today and as much as I am trying to get used to filming and sitting with you guys without makeup, I'm not quite there on the rest of social media yet. So I'm just gonna pop 
a little bit of makeup on my face and we're gonna start off looking really crazy side note i actually feel like i've really perfected over the weekend this really nice like minimal summery makeup look so let me know if you would like to see like a full video on it and i can get that filmed for you maybe this week this part would be included but is not necessary this is just me correcting my very dark under eye circles and it actually works a treat you just look crazy for about 60 seconds and then you're all good again i actually don't have much vlog footage to show for the weekend and i thought i'd talk about why because more than anything i actually would love to know if anyone else really experiences this i basically have like within a month i have like two good weeks and then two really horrendous weeks and i can feel that i am coming up to the start of my really horrendous weeks sometimes they're worse than others sometimes they're just kind of like i feel a little bit low but it's all okay and you just never really know what you're gonna get but it's not just like anxiety it's like feeling super super sad but also i have weird like i just i can't speak i don't want to speak i don't want to speak to anyone like i actually brian like invites me over for like a takeaway my instinct is to say no because i just want to retreat and be on my own and cancel all of the plans not see anyone and just hide even though at the same time i just want to be around people because i feel really really sad and everything just feels so much more overwhelming like i could literally get like i don't know example a meter reading letter and just feel like i want to cry because it feels really overwhelming which is so ridiculous because one i know how to do that and two i don't have to do that anymore because i have a smart meter now but not to be dramatic but i could still have a mental breakdown over it and it's something that i'm struggling with more and more and i think it's maybe exacerbated by the fact that now more than ever we are we as like the royal creator we are under pressure to like create so much more content than ever before like i always think about the fact that i used to put out sometimes like three videos a week but they were all like 10 minutes long so that's one 30 minute video and now a 30 minute video is a monday video and then i'm trying to do that twice a week so it's almost the equivalent to back in the day producing six videos a week which is essentially what i did when i did vlogtober or vlogmas back in the day i think that's probably not helping given the fact that then you have tiktok and instagram as well which are now also requiring video content it obviously is the most engaging that's why the platforms want it but it takes the longest to do so that coupled with the fact that more and more now i just feel so like almost like debilitated for debilitated deb debilitated <laughs> i feel so incapable incompetent unable to do literally anything or i would say like there's one really bad week one really really bad week and then there's like a slow decline to it i struggle with it now more than ever and i would love to know if that is just is it just me or is this something that other people struggle with and i also wanted to talk about it because i just if there are videos where you're like <laughs> what is going on like i feel like this video will probably be i just kind of wanted to share why like i've really been struggling with this more and more since like 2019 it's just been getting worse and worse and worse and worse and yeah just in the spirit of me oversharing because that's what i do here i thought i would tell you guys why because i really really struggle with it also love this at the moment it's the chanel cream bronzer terrible shade range so good I feel like Charlotte Tilbury's just come out with a new, like, her own version of it, and I really want to try it. I am going to get on with this, and I'll be back with you when I finish doing my makeup. This isn't the minimal makeup I mentioned, by the way. This is a little bit heavier, but necessary because... Mm. So today's outfit of the day is from the top, Prada Sunnies, which are literally doing... Hello. <laughs> 
which are literally doing nothing other than holding my hair back right now because I haven't done my hair yet. I've got my Fendi earrings in, my Monica Vinader necklace. I love this one. It's so cute. I'll show you a close up in a sec. My Skims body, which I haven't worn in ages actually. And then these Zara jeans, which I really like and I just took them up last week. So they're ready to be worn. And then I've got my Converse on. Yeah, that is the outfit of the day. And this is what the necklace looks like up close. Slow zoom out. And that is going to be it for me for this video because I feel like this is getting very long so I need to call it quits very very soon. So this is me signing off. Yeah, still yeah, struggling to speak today so I'm literally, I'm going now. <laughs> I need to go and like sort myself out. And hopefully I'll be back on form for my next video. But yeah, I hope you've all had a lovely day and you've enjoyed this little kind of like catch up. What I've been doing, what I've been wearing, little vlog. And I'll see you guys again in my next one. Love you, bye.